<laughs> when Larissa gave her speech last night, the last week about skiing, I kept thinking of all the things I could have helped her with. When I was a child, I went skiing, if you could call it that. I had more zeal than I actually had expertise from the word go. We had a small ski hill out in the country close by where I donned my skis over my overshoes, that's the kind of bindings I had, and my bamboo poles, and away I went. Unfortunately, I spent more time filling up holes I sat down in than I ever did actually skiing. <laughs> One time my family headed for the Badger Mountain ski hill. Big time, here I go. Bunny hill. By the time I got to the top, the family was ready to go home. <laughs> Have you ever done this, and it takes you forever to get up the hill? <laughs> what do you call that? Harry Mom. Harry Mom. <laughs> well, anyway, when my children got to the point where they wanted to ski, though, by that time we had much better equipment. They had really great boots, good bindings, good skis, good ski poles. Plus, they had an instructor, so they got up there and they learned how to speak properly. I don't think any of my kids had the same problems that I did. Now I'm going to see, see you, I don't even know the words I'm using, <laughs> to uh, ice skating. On the other hand, oh, I would never make an Olympic champion when I got on those ice skates, that were the shoe skates. And I had a great time out on the ice we played, crack the whip, <laughs> wind up in the snowbank if you're lucky <laughs> uh, splattered on the ice and that seemed to be my favorite winter sport because I'm not really much into winter sports anyway but ice skating was my salvation because I really did enjoy an ice skate then we get to the watching the Olympics can you guess what my favorite sport is on the Olympics ice skating repairs, the ice dancing, all of this. When I was a young child, my brother sold Saturday Evening Post. He had a route back in those days where he went around, and he would get prizes. The first prize that he gave me was Shirley Temple doll, which I left out on the lawn and ruined the complexion. <laughs> The next one was a Sonia Henny doll, which I've had to cherish a Sonia Henny doll for years. <coughs> Does anybody remember that great ice skater? Oh, no. Beautiful. Then Bobby Ann was old enough, I decided she could have the doll. So I gave it, got it out, and I gave it to Bobby. Unfortunately, her younger sister was not old enough to treasure the Henny doll, and she lost her leg. <laughs> That took care of so many. But anyway, those are my memories of ice skating or skiing. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. <laughs>